Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Mbali Talks, your platform for all things business, fashion and lifestyle. In today's episode, I'm going to be business profiling an amazing young woman who actually started this brand here called She Wasted, where she sells waist trainers as well as other gym equipment. But more than anything, we're going to find out from her during this episode, so please stay tuned. best channels on YouTube right now so please do join our community by hitting that subscribe button below and if you've been with us since day one thank you so much for coming back you guys are the reason this channel stays alive so thank you so very much for that so as Ella mentioned today's business profile is on an amazing young woman called Palia Sansaba who started a waist trainer brand called She Wasted I mean the name just says it itself she sells waist trainers as well as other gym equipment and today we are profiling your business Palisa hi Hi Mali. How are you darling? I'm good thanks. Thanks for having me. Thank on you so much for coming. <laughs> Earlier on she was making a joke about how today she's going to do the whole Hi guys, this is my channel. Why are we making fun of our YouTube channel by Lisa Mara? <laughs> I've seen so many YouTube uh, channels and yeah. And yeah. everybody always says Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. You have the face for it. Maybe you should start a YouTube channel telling us how we're supposed to use this amazing product that is behind us. But anyway, before we continue, Palisa, please tell us a bit more about you and your business and what you do. Okay, so my name is Palisa Ntaba and um, I'm a Suti girl, <laughs> Palisa. <laughs> and um, I started She Wasted when I was in second year mm -hmm. on varsity. Mm -hmm. And um, I did, I worked for like two years after, yeah. then I decided that why not do this whole brand and um, literally just work for it. Okay. <laughs> and make my own money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I actually wanted to go into that to say, what do you think propelled you to decide, you know what, I've been working for two years on a full time job, but I feel like I just want to do my own thing. Guys, working and doing uh, 9 to 5 is mm. so boring sometimes. Um, you literally wake up every day and you do the same thing all the time. You get back home, you are tired, you're exhausted. Mm. And um, so I was so tired of that. And I decided that, you know what, this is more exciting for me. I mean, I have been doing it for some time now. So yeah. how about just, um, just do it for myself? Okay. And yeah, it was pretty fun starting it. I mean, my friends really liked it because I was a promoter when I was in varsity. Mm. And um, a lot of my friends that we promoted with, they liked waist trainers. And that was the first, I mean, obviously. So they were basically your first customers. Yes. At the time. Okay. And my family as well. That's and nice. um, the other people that were obviously around me in varsity. Mm. So that's where I literally started. And then yeah. after that, then it just. Everybody's already Spiral. worrying about it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, alright. So, another thing that I wanted to find out, because you've been in this industry for so long, but then 2020 happened. Now we're in the <laughs> pandemic. You're a young woman oh. whose whole life is reliant on your business, having clients come in or buy every day. How has it been for you? Like, what did 2020 do to you? Guys, 2020 was so challenging. Yeah. Um, it was a time when I needed to think of new ideas, mm -hmm. new innovative ways of uh, trying to get this thing um, to obviously sell. Um, but the nice thing is that during that time, people actually found the time to exercise and yes, um, sort yes. of like um, think about the way they look and mm -hmm. um, you know going to gym and exercising. So it was pretty. It was okay. So the pandemic um, kind of worked out for you. Like you're of one worked. of those businesses. Yes, <laughs> it kind of worked. But the only thing was that the only challenging thing was that um, obviously the the ports were closed. No, oh, yeah. And um, it was now when the stock was uh, running out. Now it became a yes. bit of a challenge to get the stuff here. Um, but other than that, I think it was it was okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So someone else would feel like okay, waist trainers. They are almost like like a vanity product you know <laughs> where people just do it because they want to look a certain way why did you go into waist trainers specifically well I like looking good yes, girl. Yes, I, like, girl. I, like, I like feeling good as well I mean yeah. 
you you need to look good as a woman and you need to feel good at all times at all at any time you know when you what how, however old you are you always need to keep looking good so for me it was just literally just looking good and i was always worried about my stomach when i was wearing those night tight dresses yes and, our um, lbds yes <laughs> So um, yeah, so it was literally just for me to look good, and I wanted other people to also feel also look good. I mean, yeah. nowadays everybody just wants to um, contour their bodies and um, yes. do all sorts of things to their bodies. I mean, yeah. Okay, all right. So earlier on, you mentioned that being in the pandemic obviously meant you had to find innovative ways to do mm -hmm. business. Do you mind sharing some of those innovative ways with us? Um, just sharing like videos um, on how to use the products mm. and um, exercising with them. Um, just like sharing extra information that people don't know about them. That mm. really made it, I mean, people to really see and convince people and encourage them to also just purchase the products. Mm. Um, yeah, and also just trying other different things. Um, I think we all, we added, um, resistant bands okay. which was oh, yes, um, yeah. yes which were very helpful because I mean people were not able there was a time when people were not able to go to um, to gyms. Yes. So resistant bands were pretty they're pretty nice. I mean for that was quick thinking on your part, eh? Yeah. I mean you have to think on your toes. <laughs> I mean you're an entrepreneur <laughs> so you don't have a choice. <laughs> Yes, definitely. Right. So yeah, it's it's. I mean, the pandemic was pretty a time where you need to like literally think out the box. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you said at some point you were fearing that your stock is running low mm -hmm. and the pots are closed. So that basically means you get your stuff from overseas. Yes, definitely. So at that time, um, you need and like I thought, um, mm. I thought of other ways like basically just keeping the orders like getting the orders ready so that when it opens I immediately get them here oh, so okay. that was like the one other thing that we obviously thought of and mm. yeah okay all right cool talking about these amazing products now it's time that you show us what your products, products are and what they do so that anyone sitting out there and is not sure what we're talking about when we talk about shoe waste that has an idea what you actually do I'm gonna show you the waist trainer uh, so basically this is the 25 still bone. I know a lot of people so I think the, I think there was the first waist trainer that came in when the whole Kim Kardashian thing came in yeah. though, with the waist trainers. But these are way better. Mm -hmm. I always recommend them for like all the ladies that um, have you know we have behinds, like a bigger behinds than yeah. you know the Americans and all other people. So I always suggest this one for them. It's very nice and tight and it I love the quality. It's almost mm -hmm. like a leather feel type of yes. you can tell it's very good in terms of the quality compared to some of the things I've seen in some shops. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I'm not mentioning yeah. names. <laughs> um, I must say like most of the ladies that go to those shops they yeah. eventually come back to mm. me and they actually come and tell me that you know what, we love your product way better than that one that hurts me the other one hurts yes. me it does this you know um it bends there was one that came and said it bends like this <laughs> oh, but yeah. the things um, we do as women oh my goodness <laughs> it's going to work for beauty anyway yeah um but the 25 still one it's amazing guys it's got like three lines of hooks and it's mm. it's pretty i mean you can wear it all day some people do exercise in it okay. um yeah it's it's pretty something that you can wear anytime any day okay yeah. Yeah. All right. And guys, we also have uh, these tights. Uh -huh. These are so amazing, guys. Are these the tights so that are supposedly supposed to hook your tummy <laughs> and make you now look like you've got this silhouette? That is just like, okay, yeah. Really? These, they literally <laughs> snitch you. And okay, wait. I need to stop you. Uh -huh. This looks so tiny. What size is this supposed to be? So this is. This is like a medium to large. Wow. So it literally can fit someone who is like a medium or a large. So that's like so they between 34, they, 36. Yes, okay. like that's like 30, no, no, it's a 34, no, no, 36 to 38. Wow. So these, so it's they stretch, super stretch. guys. Yes, yeah, they okay. do stretch, as you can see. Wow. And they've got like, um, this thing, I'm, I'm convinced <laughs> it does miracles. Because I'm just looking at them like, a size 36, 38. Yeah, yeah, it do definitely miracles. does miracles. Okay, they uh -huh. do miracles. So um, they've got like bones. Mm. Um, you know, like how you always have your shape where that always rolls. 
when yes. you wear it in size. Like if you're wearing a dress and it just keeps rolling and you're just getting irritated. Imagine being in a vet and trying Dude, to pull all and now the that thing is showing there <laughs> on the dress and I'm just like, what's going on underneath the dress, girl? Yeah. Okay. So this is the trick, guys. It's got hooked, I mean little um um, what you call them? Boning. Boning, and um, they just prevent it from rolling. These are amazing. I yeah, no, they they really. I, I believe the miracle that they're doing. Like I, I believe in it. Just basing it on the size and the fact that yeah. the quality and the fabric is very very thick. Yeah. It's actually different it's from thick, some actually. of the things I've seen where. And even not in a bad way, but Woolworths always has this thing that is like a tummy tuck thing, and I just feel like it's more lighter than mm. this and yeah it's more lighter actually it is more lighter because i do purchase some of the the mm. this items from the store and um you find that it's much more lighter and you know the the tops yes the yes tops, yes the best like kind of ones they basically just roll at the bottom yeah yeah and it's very annoying it's very irritating actually true okay so, yeah so I want to try one of these guys. <laughs> I really do like, I'm just like, miracles are promised here. Okay, let's move on to the next product. Okay. Cool. So and then we have the tummy incher. Ladies, they love this. What is the tummy <laughs> incher and how is it different to this one? Okay, so this is the tides, obviously. Okay. So there's people that ah. like tides because of the friction that happens between the thighs. I've so they don't that. like that, you yes. know? Okay. Um, so obviously the material helps your thighs not to be darker. Mm. You know, if you're light mm. skinned or you even whatever color skin you are actually. Yes. No, I so it prevents that. that. So okay. people prefer this. And then some people don't like um uh don't like G strings. Yeah. This one is a G string guys. So they prefer the um, the tights. Okay. All right. Cool. But this one, oh, this one is magic. <laughs> <laughs> this one is magic, guys. I love it. Uh -huh. I prefer wearing this than any of that my other um, shapewear. Yeah. Um, simply because not just that it will tuck in your and you know snitch your waist. Yeah. But it will also also just give you like a nice. <laughs> the things we do. When so, I was young, there was a saying that um, you know we'd go and get braided, and then I'd come back from the salon. Like I was probably five at the time, mm -hmm. and my hair is paining. Like my head is sore, and my mom <laughs> would be like, "Yay, we die for beauty." So like, <laughs> as you're going on with this, I'm like, "Yes, that's no, guys, exactly you won't what die with this one. You won't die." Okay. Beauty, you love it. Um, it's also got the boning as well yes, to help prevent that. that. And it's obviously got the nice thick. Um, and it's got it both in the front and at the back. Yes. Okay. So it really just helps. Um, you know, if you like want to wear a dress and you mm. don't want to wear waist trainer because waist trainers can be a bit visible especially if you're wearing like um, yes. a very tight dress True. so this is best it's very nice guys i love this <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah. okay and now the next product which is something that i think is actually one of my favorite products um i think i enjoy the fact that you can wear it when you're exercising especially yes yeah. but i think everything is your favorite <laughs> after this episode guys because I'm just like I need to try some of these products yeah okay. I think yeah everything is like your favorite <laughs> guys count how many things you say these are my favorite I like this one please don't judge me I am very vanity like that thank you you like things I like things eh I'm telling you and okay. then guys we have the um, sweat belt so this is mainly for like if you really like into exercising and you exercise a lot, it makes you like sweat. Yeah. Um, it's got like a thermal like feel inside. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. and it's got like a one boning there as well. Yes. Just to help. Ones yes. As well. Okay. Just to help you, just um, you know, not to roll as well, because mm. rolling. I mean, imagine wearing something that keeps rolling. It's very, it's uncomfortable. very uncomfortable and it's very irritating. Yes. I can imagine. I wouldn't so, be happy with the product if it did that. Yeah. So um, it's got basically the two belts mm. obviously this one helps you just, just uh, snitch it a bit okay more and yeah it's very quite it's quite nice it i love the you... fact that it actually has her logo guys <laughs> she wasted <laughs> ah this is so nice do you have this yes. branded here or does it come branded already it comes in branded obviously we get it branded way at the, the supplier yes. i think that makes things easier it's yeah. actually something that i had mentioned in a different video to say that once you start stocking your own things especially when you start start buy, buying in bulk yes 
especially when you start buying in bulk it becomes easier for you to negotiate with the supplier to say please have my logo on the Definitely. product yeah okay. and get your packaging it's it's so important to get everything uh, branded nowadays because very true i mean that's another way of marketing yourself and you oh, know, yes. getting oh, people yes. to always have a remembering thing about your brand okay. and always remember you yeah. all right okay Thank you so much, Palesta. But before we let you go, two questions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One, what advice would you give to someone who wants to start this kind of business? Um, I would say, you know what, be passionate about what you do. Mm. Uh, always have the drive and always be hungry. Um, and always try, try new things, you know, be innovative. Um, you know, just give it give it a shot I yeah mean, if you don't you, know what could happen yeah you never know what could happen but obviously just put in the work and yeah you'll get the results okay and then the second question is where do people find you so you can find us on instagram she wasted mm -hmm. uh we are on facebook we are also on whatsapp Jeez, we're everywhere guys are you on twitter because i often feel yes. like i drown in twitter information and i only recently had to open a twitter account because of some influencer program that i'm working on mm -hmm. with a certain brand but still i'm just there, like i just go in to check if they've sent me anything or if i need to tag anyone if i need otherwise i'm just like no but you're yeah. available on twitter um i am on twitter um I'm online as well so mm -hmm. yeah reach out guys anyway like with yeah. some way <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> and to end. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere you go, Everywhere you're going to find two ways of guys. Okay, no, thank you so much, Melissa, for coming by. For those who missed her details, I will have them in the description box. So, guys, don't worry about that. You can just go in there and find her number, her email, as well as her page tags. Other than that, thank you so much for joining us, Melissa, today. Thank you for having me, Melissa. And thank you for being an inspiration <laughs> to young women and all the women everywhere to say that you started a business when you were in your second year, and today you, you basically live off that business. It's yes. amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> Welcome to my YouTube channel. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> So that brings us to the end of today's business profile episode. I hope you guys really enjoyed having Palisa on our episode. And also you were able to take a lot of the points that she said with regards to how you can start your own business. Even if it's not a waist trainer business, guys, it's your own business. But I feel like the advice that she gave us is basically broad. You know, you can apply it to any other business that you decide to choose. Other than that, if you stay to the end of the channel, please don't leave without hitting that subscribe button if you haven't already. And also guys, please remember to hit the like button so that it can work for my YouTube algorithm and so that this video can come up in the faces of other people who could use this kind of information. Other than that, I'm going to see you on the next episode. Cheers. <laughs>